50 days after the WTS races in London, the German city of Hamburg became the second European stop on this year's series. Always one of the most popular events on the circuit, the elite men would race over the sprint distance, beginning with a one-lap 750-metre swim in the Alster. Pleasant water and air temperatures meant it was a non-wetsuit swim, and with the Brownlee brothers not racing, it was a chance for a trio of Spaniards to maybe top the podium, led by Javier Gomez, who'd sat out the races in London. As the large field made its way towards the first swim boy, it was clear to see how many thousands had turned out to witness a fantastic day of racing in the heart of the city. With the athletes in touching distance of the crowd as they neared the completion of the lap, no surprise that Richard Varga led them out of the water, but he'd failed to build any significant lead, and Gomez and Frenchman Aurelien Raphael weren't too far behind as they entered T1. Eleven set out in the lead group as they tried to build themselves an advantage over the chase pack. Also in the first group were Frenchman Vincent Louis and Dorian Connix and the USA's Tommy Zafiris. The lead group were building up a good head of speed and by the time the six laps had been completed and the athletes hit T2, the lead group was down to nine. It would be down to who could get off to a fast start on the two-lap, five-kilometre run. Louis, Gomez and Aaron Royal were first to show, with a large chase group having a lot to make up, around 40 seconds down on the leaders. France and Spain led the way with Louis and Gomez matching each other stride for stride. Over the shorter distance, who would make their move first in an attempt to take gold? With 17 seconds back to the chase group, gold and silver would be between these two. With 400 metres to go, it was Louis that kicked first to leave Gomez in his wake. A stunning turn of speed from the Frenchman to race through for his first ever WTS victory, and he was able to savour the win as he entered the finishing shoot. Gomez had to be content with second, and there was a long wait for another Spaniard, Mario Mola, to run through into third, despite being over 30 seconds down in T2. His run split of 13 minutes 55 seconds was the fastest 5K in WTS history. But it was Louis that would savour his maiden win, while Gomez and Mola remained one and two in the overall series rankings. I'm really pleased, you know, that's the first victory for me on WTS and the first for the French team, so I think everyone in France was expected for that, so that's really good for me, but so much for the friends.